Hello, Sillaholics, and welcome to Sillaholics Anonymous. I am Shakia. If this is your first time here and you have never viewed any of my content, I do hope that you enjoy the contents of this video and will choose to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release new content. If you are a subscriber, thank you for the support and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add patterns to your patterns folder so that they're easily accessible within your design program. To add patterns, you have to have the JPEG or PNG image saved to your computer. If you purchased it from somewhere online, it might be in a zip file, or if you happen to just do a Google search and you right clicked and save the image on your computer, it will have to be saved to your computer first. All right, so I'm going to go here and just gonna show you how you would unzip a file. So I want to open up this one. It has a zipper on it. We're going to right click and choose extract all. You can also double click on it and you're going to see the extract all at the top. You will see the file there, but it will not transfer over if you have not extracted the file. So we're going to choose extract all. And we're going to extract it. It's gonna show us in the folder where it was saved to. There we go. So we have that one. I'm gonna go ahead and change the title of this. Let's, okay, let's see. I can't get that. So let's just go ahead and rename it. I was trying to copy it to make it easier, but P-O-K-E-H, lights, glitter, background, All right, and hit enter. So in Silhouette Studio, you're gonna go over to your library. You wanna make sure that it is open. You're going to go to that file that, you, um, that you're wanting to pull in. You're going to use your left mouse key, click on it, drag it to the Silhouette Studio icon and you're going to just choose somewhere like in one of the open areas, put it there, you'll have the little arrow and drop it. It's going to populate and then end up in your library. I um, just had to re redo uh, my program. So I just had my library updated and you can see here it is queued. Uh, it's uploading a lot of other things right now, but it will populate and be in my downloads for or in my in my patterns folder once it finishes downloading or queuing up. Oh, actually that one is done. So it's doing some other ones. That one is actually in my library. So let's go back over to design. And uh -oh, let's go ahead and get rid of that from the last video. And let's place a box here. Let's go over to our paint palette. The third icon is your fill pattern icon. And we're gonna click on that. And if we scroll down, we should find that pattern right there. And it's going to fill it in. If you have a group of them and you have designer edition or above, you can create custom folders. So we're going to go to library. You're going to either right click within your library here or if you go down to the patterns folder, you can also right click and choose to add a new folder or you can right click and add a new folder. And then once we have that one, I think this one is called camo prints that I'm going to do. So we have that one. We're going to double click on that one. That is uh, this folder, the camo prints. And we're gonna go over to our folder that has all of our, I've already extracted this and saved and downloaded, you know, downloaded it and extracted it and saved it to the computer. So I have all access to all of these. I'm just going to click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one, hold down my left mouse key, come down. You see there's 16 of them. Come down to the silhouette icon and drop them in the folder. It's going to load all 16, and then I will have access 
to all 16 of those patterns in my uh, patterns fill patterns window. So these are still being queued up, so they may not be available over there just yet, but we're gonna go to design and see if we can at least see, oh, actually they're there. So you see where it also categorizes it and it says camo prints. And we're gonna go here and we can fill that with one of those patterns. All right. So it is easy as that to add custom patterns to your patterns folder. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any additional questions, do not hesitate to leave them as a comment below. Hopefully this video has made you want to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the other videos that I will drop. Also check out my second YouTube channel, Elite Prints and Creations with the K, but there will be a link at the end of this video. Subscribe to that channel as well. As well, That is where I do videos, um, just, just regular crafting, things outside of Silhouette Studio. So whether it's paper crafting, print and cut, sublimation, um, heat transfer vinyl, adhesive vinyl, all sorts of things will be on that particular channel. And in between my videos, if you would like, you can join me over on Facebook, Silaholics Anonymous. I do live Q and A's, Tracing Tuesdays, Make It Mondays, and so many other things live over on Facebook as well. So be sure to join, to follow and like Silaholics Anonymous on Facebook. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one.